MMS, how to make CDS with Jim Humble. Please, if you think you don't know enough, don't, don't do anything. Huh? Oh, hey students, uh, I'm just rewatching my Don't Drink Bleach lesson from nine months ago to see where I went wrong. I mean, I thought I made it pretty clear that you're not supposed to drink bleach. Well, except for when I was doing the Todd Clorox character. We're talking about your guides on how to put MMS in your eyeballs, and your kids, and your grandmas, and your dogs, and your veins. <laughs> oh, Todd, everyone loves you. But back to the matter at hand, I shouldn't have to tell anyone not to drink bleach more than once. No one should. So why is it today that I woke up to this tweet from Lysol? Due to recent speculation and social media activity, RB has been asked whether internal administration of disinfectants may be appropriate for investigation or use as a treatment for coronavirus. Oh man, not the fucking virus again, god damn it. Burger King, not sure why we need to be the ones to tell you this, but don't drink bleach. You might think this is cute, but I won't be eating a BK ever again. What? For that? That? That's why? Well. We learned last week that when you don't have anything nice to say, you just post a picture of a shirtless old man. And bop, and there we go. All right, well, there's one benefit to all this, and it's that I get to pull my Todd Clorox Facebook account out of retirement. So let me just log into that, and bop. Uh, what's this? The email you've entered doesn't match any accounts. But that was the right email. I don't understand. Why won't it let me... Oh, my God. Facebook deleted Todd Clorox. But I needed him for this lesson. <sighs> Well, one thing's definitely for sure. This proves without a doubt that my Holiday Fur Cruise Facebook account that I've been shitposting with for months is 100% undeletable. So I'll just use that account. Let's start the show. Now for today's lesson, I'll be drinking a beautiful Barolo. Truly the king of wine. Structured and elegant, the Barolo is a fine pairing to just about anything you could put on a plate. What if instead of a Barolo, nah, I can't do it. I can't do it without Todd Clorox around. It just doesn't have the same zing. Anyway, let's find out why drinking bleach is back in the news all of a sudden, huh? Let's find out on uh, Twitter. Now, nah, it looks like whatever it was, it must have happened like more than a couple hours ago because the hashtags are already filled with new bullshit. But hey, it doesn't actually matter why people are talking about it again. Uh, let's see some crazy people. Church uses bleach as miracle cure. Ooh, and play. It's called the Genesis 2 Church of Health and Healing. Overseen in the U.S. Dick, by a man who says he's an archbishop, glass. Mark Grennan. But this is a sacrament. Claiming that what's in this glass is a miracle cure for the most serious of diseases. Okay, I, I feel like I'm in the Mandela effect right now. What happened to Jim Humble and why is this guy wearing Jim Humble's hat? Look, he's wearing the same hat. His vestments, a black leather jacket and a bejeweled Panama hat. Maybe the hat has some kind of magical bleach power. MMS is an industrial chemical. It's an industrial bleach. In fact, look what happened when we poured some of it undiluted onto a pair of jeans. The denim turned white through both pant legs. Oh, well, I think we know what happened to Jim Humble. Mr. Grennan, Brian Ross, maybe ABC News. Can we talk to you for a second, please? Yeah, and when the time probably, finally probably came to ask the, the Archbishop said. about his preachings and promises of a cure... We're a church, and we have sacraments we use. It quickly turned ugly. Are you harming okay. people, do you think, with this, sir? Yeah. You're not? Uh, not at all. You're an actor, okay? I'm a reporter. You're a piece of He is so right, the guy asking him questions with a camera is an actor! Don't be surprised if it cures COVID-19, then you will swallow your toxic words because this really is a miracle mineral, like it or not, ignorantes! By your logic, if I swallow something toxic, it'll heal me and reply. The ABC lies to you. Fake news. Oxygen is a bleach! I, got, I gotta ask about the hat. Seriously though, why is this dude wearing Jim Humble's hat? Did the old man bestow it onto him like Excalibur in a lake of bleach? Did this guy have to kill Jim Humble to become leader of the Lysol tribe? So many questions, but also here's one more question. Would you idiots stop having children if I paid you? I'll make the GoFundMe right now and I'll pay you serious money to never have kids. I talked to my friend in FEMA and they already have a sterilization protocol that they want to test out on some subjects. So if you want hard cash to never breed, hit me up at nudecelebsforfree at gmail.com with your PayPal and if you already have kids, I'll pay you to give them up to an organization where they'll be in less danger, like ISIS. It's times like this I wish YouTube allowed us to post pictures of shirtless old men in the comments section. So you'll just have to imagine there's one right here where the rocket ship is. Blah, 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 blah. That is come though, and post. All right, so already there's a little bit of intrigue. Who is this man wearing Jim Humble's hat? And does he have a Facebook group?
Yes, he does. Okay. Now let's see if uh, Holiday Fart Crew is the undeletable can fill the void that Todd Clorox left. Here's a stupid post. Did Microsoft just patent 666 about implanting and monitoring humans? I very much doubt he did. Hope you are in prison and soon. Wow, looks like everybody's already in here shitting on this guy. I love the fruit in Colombia. You're hiding from the authorities? You need to be removed from Facebook. Not just Facebook. You need to be removed from all social media with this kind of dangerous pseudo-medicine. Get out. Back to your basements, little troll. Hey Gary, I'm interviewing people for a news story about folks who happen to know what their dad's dick tastes like. May we PM you with some questions and reply? Oh shit, that's right, I forgot. Hang on. Edit and replace overly mean comment with a shirtless old man. Yeah, that's way better. There is no god. Science, bitch. Did you evolve from monkey? Or are you of man? Or are you of shirtless old man? Getting so tired of the stupidity. If you do your research, you will also find that it actually has been approved by the FDA, water purification, spraying on meat, chicken and vegetables. Talk to the shirtless old man. Shame on you, Mark, for giving life to such poison. Your lies are disgusting. What a crock of shit. I thought you had to be a joke. Oh, wait, you are. Man, people really, really hate this fucking dude and post old man photo. So I also clicked a couple links deep into one of this guy's posts and, and now I'm on this bizarre website. Now, it appears to be a site where you can submit your testimonials on how MMS has cured you in various ways or whatever. It's just got a big old list of ailments, so this should be painful to read. Dear team, my kids have been taking MMS for four months. Ugh. I do think my kids are injured from the vaccination. Oh, there's a section for animals. MMS cured my pet goat. Wow, who would have thought bleach is a cure for Baboon attacks. And what's this on the bottom of the page? Submit new testimonial? Okay, but first things first, I'm gonna turn on today's sponsor. No! NordVPN.com slash big money. NordVPN.com slash big money hides your identity online by masking your IP address so that when you go clicking around shady links in the dipshit sector of the internet, they can't do anything with your IP address because they don't know who you are. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, this definitely looks shady. And if I was browsing from my phone, there's good news because NordVPN.com slash big money also has apps for your Android and iOS devices. And with up to six simultaneous connections, well, you could post a lot of shirtless old men from the shadows of the internet. Just check this out. Yep, yep, yep. That's a pretty good testimonial. And NordVP sent. Oh no, some poor asshole's gonna have to review that one, huh? Well, <laughs> that might make him wanna drink slightly more bleach than normal. Hey, you know the other good thing about NordVPN.com slash big money is that it encrypts all of my online traffic. So my ISP can't sell the data of me visiting this website and make it so I'm suddenly seeing like holistic ads for stupid medicinal cures meant for crazy old hippies. Go to NordVPN.com slash big money today Day for 70% off a three year plan plus one month free when you use coupon code Big Money. Thanks, NordVPN.com slash Big Money, and connect from France and Goatsy and submit testimonial. Well, in general, to me, it seems like the bleach drinking community has lessened over the last nine months. Uh, it was bound to happen one way or another. But what I think is that people are kind of starting to wake up and realize that drinking bleach is not good for you. And that's a good thing. The only people really left talking about it are the ones who are making money off of it or the ones who are too psychologically invested that they just can't let it go. I mean, I'm having a hard time finding any MMS stuff online unless I go to like, bit shoot? Huh. I guess this is where you wind up when you get deplatformed from the whole internet. Okay, this website's shady as fuck, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap that double VPN button on nordvpn.com slash big money. Yeah, the ad, when's the ad gonna stop? Who knows? Body pains, bee sting and sunburn, MMS testimony. I, ran, I was running out of the house to, to get into the car to get in my ride, and a bee stung. Oh, come on. So I was like, hey, I got my, I got my MMS, I got my spray bottle. Let's just see. And so I sprayed it up instantly. The pain went away. <laughs> Bro, that makes no sense. MMS sprayed in my mouth. Yeah, why would YouTube ever delete this channel? It's a health revolution. It's a health revolution. I hear. Oh, please tell me this song's gonna be about MMS. We got MMS. We got the solution. So anyway, let's see if BitChute lets you leave YouTube comments. Hey, I got a question. Uh, what if you're wrong? What if the thousands of doctors and health organizations warning you that drinking this stuff damages your insides actually know what they're talking about? And you've been putting industrial strength cleaning supplies in your body for absolutely nothing that wouldn't have happened if you just took a sugar pill. And sure, I'll address the logical response from you, but what if we're right? Well, if you're right and somehow drinking bleach does cure everything from AIDS to bee stings, it'll still be super dangerous because people have died following 
following your advice in the real world. You know, the place you left far behind when you started spraying bleach on bug bites. And yes, I know what you would tell me next. You'd be like, say boy, that's one juicy dick you got there. Mind if I slap it around with my tongue? And I would be shocked, unable to really respond. I'd stammer, but we're in a church. And you'd put your finger to my lips, shushing me as you undo my belt. As we collapse into each other after hours of vigorous lovemaking, we'd share a knowing glance and you'd whisper, you're right, it's not medicine. And this time I'd shush you saying, I don't care anymore. Afterwards, I guess we'd go our separate ways, two ships passing in the night. The air outside would be warm and humid, like an incubator for one more important question, fresh and exciting powered by the electricity in the air as if the city knew exactly what mood to dial itself. The question hammers in my head as I hail a cab home. Man, what is the deal with that stupid fucking hat and post? Wait, I never made a bit shoot account. How did it just let me post that comment? Todd Clorox? What the hell's Todd Clorox doing on bit shoot? He was just supposed to be for Facebook. What? Oh my god, he's got videos. Todd Clorox deplatformed. I'm Todd Clorox. I'm the Clorox man with the Clorox plan. And I've been Clorox D platform. Oh, everybody go to my Patreon so you can give me money so I can tell you to drink bleach. Oh, fuck. Undeletable Facebook account. Hey guys, Todd Clorox here. I just found out about this other Facebook account. It's called Holiday Fart Cruise. Uh oh, that's not good. And it's undeletable. You can't be D platform. No matter what it says to people online, it can tell them to drink. Bleach. <laughs> oh, I just came a little bit. God damn it. The Clorox man had a Clorox plan all along. Son of a bitch. I knew this would be a dangerous character to create. Guys, if you're seeing this, just ignore the rest of the lesson, okay? It's a trick. It's all a trick. He's going to take over and try to trick everybody into drinking. Oh, hey there. It's me, Todd. Todd Clorox. Now I'm in control. I bet I know what you're wondering. You're wondering, is Todd gonna make me drink bleach? And yeah, I'm gonna make you drink bleach, because I'm Todd Clorox, and I want that fucking hat. It's coming. 21 signs of doomsday. Suck my dick, old man, and Todd. I'm so sorry, that was so mean. Oh, here's a good one. What a fucking nut job you are. Drink some of that bleach you're toting, please. Yeah, please. Basement dwelling trolls out in force today. If it wasn't for basement, some dude wouldn't have been able to fuck his sister and make you and Todd. Oh, I'm so sorry, dude. This isn't really me saying this stuff. This isn't the real holiday fart cruise. Anyone opposing the idea of injecting disinfectants should also oppose injecting disinfectants in the vaccines for influenza, diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, Hib, hepe, hepe, meningitis. Blah, 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 Oh, wait, what's this? No, what is this? Old man photos? What does that mean? That's not making anyone angry. It's just confusing them, and I need anger so I can get my bleach hat. This could be us, but you being stingy. Where is so many pictures of old shirtless men? That's not bleachy, they're ruining it. Hey, Mark, wow, these shirtless men are really annoying. I'm so sorry for you, spreader of Clorox truth. By the way, are your nips removable? They look like you could take them off and put them on a nice pepperoni pizza, and I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Can't steal these. Nips. Eric, make them stop! Eric! Eric, make them stop! Oh, Eric, make them stop with the old man photos! It's ruining my plans! Eric, come back and make them stop! Stop! Oh shit. And I'm back. Whew, boy. All right, one sec real quick. Fuck you, Todd Clorox. No more side camera. Wow. Turns out Todd Clorox was a total asshole, huh? Who would have thought? But thanks to you, my beautiful, beautiful students, you foiled his Clorox plans once and for all. I'm so proud of you that in a time when I wasn't there to teach, you all stepped up to the plate to make sure the internet stayed a place full of good and proper comment etiquette. Someone is filling my Facebook with topless men. God will judge. Facebook is probably allowing it because I can't block them. Remember what happened to Sodom and just a shitload of shirtless old men. God damn, look at all of that. That is a lot of shirtless old dudes. That's gotta be every shirtless old dude picture online. To those fighting for the truth, please follow this link to find out who to block and the precautions to take in order to avoid these trolls. There's a little Google Drive link. Let me click that and yup, filled with shirtless old dudes. <laughs> yes, good students. 
Anyway, my biggest takeaway from today's lesson is that I have definitely lost my mind. I don't even remember what my real name is anymore. Is it Todd? No. Ted? Holiday? Salvia? Yeah, that's it. It's Salvia. Whew. <laughs> I have got to go outside more often. Oh, wait, I can't. Oh, I finally found out why uh, bleach drinking's back in the news. Let me see this article real quick, and yeah, huh. oh. I mean, he was probably being sarcastic, right? Uh.